Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and for the first time, we're going to paint a little sunflower together. And if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more painting videos. Let's get started. Now we'll start off today with our, with our three-quarter brush and a little soft green color. And this green was made out of a little bit of yellow, green, and then I did put some blue and red into it, so there's a lot of color in there. And that's nice because we get a variation of things happening instead of just just one or two colors. So this is a little nicer that way. I went ahead and changed to a big brush because I had a, I had a different idea. So you see, I was very careful and I cut in here toward the flower, but then about two minutes into that, I, I got to thinking, well, this is a yellow sunflower. Maybe we should be a little more, give us a little more space. We should be a little more careful than that because I'm a little worried that the yellow might hit the green too much. So we're going to just leave a, a little ring about one inch wide around the flower. We'll paint the yellow flower in and then we'll cut in carefully. Because I don't care if a little bit of the yellow gets dragged into the green, <laughs> but the green dragged into the yellow will be kind of annoying, so we don't want to do that. And also I got the big brush and I'm touching it with a little bit of medium, the clear gel, just to make my life easy. Now this area that we painted, that's fine. I'm going to take a paper towel, watch this start from the inside of the flower and just wipe it like this. So what that does is now we've stained the canvas. In fact, that might be an effective way to, to do the whole thing. You, you've got options. We're just experimenting and having fun. There. What little paint is left shouldn't hurt the painting at all. Now I went ahead and cleaned off the palette here. <laughs> so I'm going to take a clean three-quarter brush right through some yellow and a speck of red and white. Get some clean white. Don't want any of that blue in there. All right. And that's going to be a a nice color for our sunflower. And let me tell you what I've done. I went ahead and repeated the same process as I did with the green up there with the blue. And then I sort of melted them together. There's a little tree on the, on the left there. And, and now we can get, begin to, to paint in these petals. Now the yellow by itself is pretty transparent. So that white in there is gonna help because otherwise your sketch might show through. Now, of course, you could sketch this in, in paint, maybe like yellow paint, that would be okay, but I don't know if, I don't know how easy that would be to get such detail in a sketch with a brush, so we're not gonna do that. There, okay. Yeah, you see this area here? This is actually the, the part where I thought, well, you know, it, changed my mind a little about how I wanted to paint it. That green doesn't seem to be harming the flower too much at all. And I've hit it a couple times already, so that's good. Let me talk to you about that tree up there. <laughs> that tree is, is something I put in this painting. I put it there very specifically when I was designing the composition because I need some sort of a balance. And I'm going to have more sunflowers on this side, tiny blurry ones, because I've got the main subject to the right of center. I need other things on the left to balance it, otherwise it kind of gets heavy on the right side. All right, so we'll just repeat this whole process and get this yellow color into to both flowers. Now I've noticed here it's getting a little bit tricky to see our sketch. And I don't want to totally lose it because then I'm going to be, I'm going to be lost. Don't want to risk losing it. There because I don't have the shape of, of sunflowers memorized in my head as good as I do, say, like a tree. So I want to have this road map on here. I spent several minutes putting it on the canvas. So I'm kind of I'm doing a little bit of outlining, but mostly I'm shading. Now I know the light's coming across like this, keeping that in mind. So I'm just going to place a little bit of shading where I think it would be, and we can refine the shading later. Now with our three-quarter brush and a little bit of brown, and red. Let's go ahead and paint in this the center here to the sunflower. Now maybe we don't really want to go ahead and highlight the whole thing yet, or highlight at all really, until we get most of the paint on the canvas down here, at least for, for this flower. I thought I would paint them both at the same time, but I'm getting so carried away with this one, maybe I'll finish it and then go up there, because I'm learning as I go here. And it's making it each step a little easier, you know, as I learn different brush strokes and stuff like that, different thoughts and techniques that I might have. So I'm going to go ahead and just use this sunflower to practice up and 
and then jump to the next one after this one's almost done or, or done. We'll see. Now I'll take the liner brush right through a little bit of white and yellow. And I'm adding a lot of texture to the brush. Do you see all that paint on there? And with this, we're going to highlight our little sunflower. Now you may be wondering why I'm building up all this texture. Well, we're not going over this again. This is the brightest color we're going to get today. So texture is fine. And having texture will help to make it look even brighter. It really covers up the paint underneath very nicely and it just works. So I'm just layering it on and then you can kind of blend it with this brush or even change to a clean brush, three quarter brush or filbert or whatever. Let me show you. And then just drag across it very lightly and that smooths it in. Wipe it off, drag across and I just sort of smooths it all together. <laughs> I love that color. Mostly white, a little bit of yellow, just so it's not pure white, because we don't like pure white for the most part. Looks a little harsh. There. And just do this back and forth until you've got enough highlight on there. Now with the mix of a little bit of red, yellow, and brown on the three-quarter brush, we'll just sort of continue here, painting in our our little shadows and, and different things. This again just helps to lock in my, my shapes. Really, we're just repeating the same old process we used down here to create the, the little sunflower. You do little shapes and shading. Do as much as you can. This really does help because then you can add the darker shadows in and then the highlights very easily. Now with the three-quarter brush, I'm going to drop in just a few leaves to maybe a, a distant patch of sunflowers back here. You see, I just took a few lines straight up like that, and that gave me some stems. And now I'm, I'm quickly smudging with a, with a medium shade of gray, not too light, not too dark. All right, and there's very little paint, so you shouldn't get too much blending. However, we do want it to be soft, so feel free to stroke over it a couple times. There. And the more paint you have, I have a little more paint down in this area. The more muddy it'll be on the first stroke, so keep that in mind. Now these leaves are not connected to the large flowers, these are background leaves. And I went ahead and sketched in a couple of large leaves here and here. We may do a couple more, we may not, but <laughs> let me show you the shape is really important. See how they go out and they come back in. And so when you paint these in, you want to paint them in with a dark green first or a medium shade of green. Follow the angles, and then you simply throw a little highlight out on one edge. Following the shape. Nice. And of course, we'll just sort of, we'll just sort of fill in here. We want some distant sunflowers that are blurry, so we'll work on those in a second. Now with our little liner brush, I'm gonna add a few sparkling highlights out here to the leaves. This is exactly what we did to the sunflower with the white, same idea. This is just the sunlight kind of, it's, well, it's going through the, going through the little meadow here, the field of sunflowers, and it's hitting these leaves in this, in this area here on the top of them. And that's important. If you don't do this, it's not gonna be interesting. It's gonna kinda go flat on you, and I don't want that. Careful don't to over, careful not to overdo it because if you do, it's not going to look right. It only hits where you would get some strong light. only hits right on the corners. So that's how you determine where you need this light. Now I've went ahead and placed in just a few <laughs> little sunflowers. Not too many. You see that just gives it a nice little background. Some are larger and some are slightly smaller. So let's go ahead and grab a filbert brush. Load it up with a little brown and place the centers in these flowers. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website, my DVDs, and also my brush line. And thanks for watching.